Now, before you start creating plugins, you need to prepare a project template. So let's go ahead and have a look. Now, to be able to develop a plugin, you need to go to Visual Studio and create a class library project for C Sharp and then download required assemblies using the NuGet package manager. And one of those are the Microsoft.xrm.stk.dll, which is uh, provided by Microsoft. And then within that, you can implement the iPlugin interface. So let's go ahead and have a look how you can do that. So let's just say what we want to achieve over here. So I'm in my Dynamics 365 environment. So if I click on contacts, and let's say I create a new contact and specify all the fields, required fields, then what I want is that as soon as I save the new contact, within the details, this personal notes, which is nothing but the description field, is automatically populated by some text. Let's say, hello world, okay? So that is our target. So let's just go ahead and see how we can prepare the project template and then move forward. So let us first open the Visual Studio environment. So let me click on Visual Studio. And I'm using the Visual Studio 2019 version now based on the version that you're using you might find that the UI is a little different but you can click on create a new project and let's just create a new project which is a c-sharp project and let us search for class library so over here uh, just a word of caution that you need to choose the class library dotnet framework and not the class library dotnet standard all right so let's select class library dotnet framework and click on next now over here, you can provide your project name. Within a project, there can be many solutions, okay? So let me specify the project name as uh, Tech Quantum. This is my project. And let's say the solution where we have to update the contact details so we can provide a specific solution, right? So update contact detail. And then we can choose the .NET framework and then click on Create. So as you can see, the system has created a class library, which is a blank class library. You can see that there is no main method over here. That means you cannot directly run this. This class library has to be called from some other place. So first of all, what we can do is uh, just rename this uh, class over here for something meaningful. So let's say I specify hello world, and then I copy this and specify the same thing to rename the class library as hello world. Now remember that each class is one plugin within this physical file. So one physical file can contain many classes over here. You can specify one class in one physical file. So if you want to create a new class, um, I would say create a new file over here. Right. Now to move forward, uh, we need to use the SDK assemblies. Now to be able to download the SDK assemblies, you can click on tools, then click on NuGet package manager and click on manage NuGet package for the solution. So click on that. Now this will take you to the manage packages for solution page. Now here click on browse and then search for Dynamics 365 plugin. 365 plugin. Now here you need to install two assemblies. One is microsoft.crmsdk.core assemblies and another one is microsoft.crmsdk.xrm tooling .plugin registration tool. So let's go ahead and install uh, the Microsoft core assemblies first. Click on that and over here select the solution and then click on installed and then click on I exit. And as you can see, the assembly is being installed, right? Now you can see there are no errors over here. And if you take your mouse over that assembly, it will say that latest of stable version is installed. Installed. Similarly, install uh, this particular assembly, click on that and the solution is checked and then click on install and then click on I accept. Again, there are no errors and then the latest stable version is installed. Now, remember that, uh, you know, the .NET framework that you selected while creating the project has to be compatible. So try taking the latest versions. So what this installation does is that it adds some uh, folders in your project. So if I can just close this up and over here in the solution explorer, this is the solution explorer. You can right click on it and you can go to open folder in file explorer. And if you go one step up, you will see that there are packages folder right which has been created so if you click on that then you will see that there are other two folders and both of your assemblies are available in uh, both these folders so if you open one of these and go to library net 462 then you will see that your microsoft.xrm.xtk.dll is available so what i will do is i can just copy this uh, path and i can go to the references section right click on it 
and click on add a reference and we can then browse over here and then paste the location and then you can use microsoft.xrm.sdk.dll and click on add so now what you can do is you can reference that uh, assembly over here so you can say using microsoft.xrm.sdk so this sdk will give you an interface called iPlugin interface. And the way that you can access the interface is by using colon over here. So this iPlugin contains a method called execute as you can see over here. So it just gives a signature of the method. The contents of the method is something that you need to execute. And this is how Microsoft captures third party uh, code into their own system. So they give us some interface, we have to fill out that interface and then Microsoft knows which method to call. What I would recommend you over here is to go to Microsoft documents and copy some lines of code. Now those are the piece of code which we need everywhere wherever we write a plugin and we can first create the template based on that code and then extend it. Right. So I'll provide the link uh, in this video. So when you go to this particular link and if you scroll down, you can then find this piece of code over here. So this is the method over here, public void execute. And then you need to uh, replace the contents of that method with this particular code over here. Now, please note that over here, it is a follow up plugin. In our case, it's the Hello World uh, plugin. So let me just open my notepad. and then copy the following contents from the first example and then replace the contents of this execute command with this particular code okay right so all we need to do is copy this and then paste it in our hello world class now over here you're getting some exception and that is because uh, there is one framework assembly which is not available so we need to add that in our references so for that go to references right click on it and click on add references and go to assemblies framework and then search for uh, system dot service model over here you can see that it has already been selected so that's okay and then here you can add using system dot service model right and then you can see that those exceptions are now gone so you won't see those red lines over here so this is how you can prepare the template and in our next video we will discuss a little deeper of what these statements mean and how we can go ahead and create the plugin so stay tuned